What's cooking, home gators? I'm Eddie Jackson, celebrity chef and former pro football player. Now I'm teaming up with Kroger to bring you another round of home game recipes. And to get you hyped for game day, we'll be joined by my good friend and celebrity chef, Damaris Phillips. And we're gonna be serving up my delicious vanilla bean beer floats and slow cooker turkey chili. Damaris, what is up? You know, living the dream, Eddie, living the dream. <laughs> This is all new for us, right? We're virtually home getting. Now, we've never done anything like this. We're used Ever. to being side by side making shows together. So this is all <laughs> new for us. I'm loving the home gating, but for me, the recipes have to be easy. They have to be um, delicious and they have to remind me of full time football. So talk to me about this chili that you're making. So it's very, very simple. It's also pretty good for you. Don't worry, you can uh, fatten it up with cheese and sour cream at the end, but it starts with some turkey i browned it up so we're just putting in two pounds of that ground turkey and then literally all you do is is put everything else into your slow cooker a green pepper white onions i do try to chop everything when i'm using my slow cooker i try to chop it up a little bit smaller so it cooks evenly yeah that's key that's a good tip fresh garlic then we have cumin what chili powder of course can't have chili without chili powder absolutely and then a little oregano. Hey, so Damaris, uh, your your husband is vegetarian, right? He is, yeah. So is there something that you can do to add or make this a vegetarian chili? Yeah, so when I make this for him, Kroger has this like plant-based ground meat that I use. It tastes, I think, exactly the same. Um, so that's a great option if you're, if you're entertaining for people who have different dietary restrictions. I'm also going in with a ton of beans, kidney beans, but I also have black beans. To bean spicy or not black to beans. bean? That is the question with chili. Well, for me, unless it's going on a hot dog, it has beans in it. I'm a no beans kind of guy. In this recipe, I think the beans are the perfect complement. Okay, I also put in one can of tomato sauce and then 28 ounces of diced tomatoes. That's either one big can or two of the small cans. And then just two cups of chicken stock. Damaris, you got a lot going on in this chili now. <laughs> no, it's so easy. It's just, it's cans and fresh. So high quality canned beans, high quality canned tomatoes, okay. and then fresh vegetables, and you are ready to have a delicious chili. How long does this chili cook for? So it's gonna take about four hours. So I put it on high, oh, okay. boom. I got some of your chili over here. I love the toppings. Mm. Damaris, this chili is the bomb. What would go good with it, Eddie? I'm gonna make my vanilla bean beer floats. Vanilla bean beer floats sounds like the perfect complement to hearty chili. Damaris, I have some cold mugs. Uh, I didn't know about the cold mug trick. I guess I should have watched this. Is this is what the before. recipe is for. This is why we're doing these videos, recipes and tips. So my tip is to make sure you have some cold mugs and also make sure you have some hot water so we can stick our scoop in it and then make the ice cream easier to come out, right? I, I I know that now, right? <laughs> All right, so Damaris, this is what I'm doing. I have some private selection vanilla bean ice cream, right? I'm gonna pair it with my chocolate stop because vanilla and chocolate go hand in hand. All right, so I am gonna go down with two scoops of ice cream. Ooh, that looks so creamy. I'm gonna go down with two scoops of giant scoops of ice cream. Mine are heaping. So I'm gonna do five ounces. Five Ooh. ounces is all you need. And then I'm gonna finish it off with one ounce of Irish cream. I'm just gonna eyeball that, right? Yeah, just, just eyeball it, Damaris. I know how you are. About an ounce. <gasps> Eddie is looking so good. Okay, so if we're making this for the kids. Yeah, so making it for the kiddos, super, super easy. Take some of this sorbet right here, and I'm gonna add the same thing, two scoops. And instead of using the beer, I am just gonna top it off with a little bit of this orange soda. Oh, it's like a dream sickle. That's a it's great idea. It's just like idea. a dream sickle. I would right. have that one. All right, so how about we give this a taste test? Okay, well wait, well I wanna top mine. Wait, oh my gosh. You Demaris. were doing something fancy. The, the recipe do doesn't call for too. whipped cream and sprinkles. But I just happen to have them, no big deal. Let's try this, Eddie. How good is that? Mm. Sorry, I was busy drinking. It's delicious, <laughs> Eddie, it's so good. It's like creamy, it's sweet, vanilla, chocolate together. 
I had so much fun cooking up these recipes. And Damaris, thank you so much for helping me create this home getting spread. And thank you to everyone out there watching. And be sure to check out the link below for the full recipe. And if you're taking those home getting photos, add the hashtag. And stay tuned for more recipes and tips from Kroger's Home Getting Playbook so you can home gate like a pro.